All right, today I'm going to be upgrading the RAM in my Dell GX620. Um, what I'm doing, it's already got two gigs, four, five, twelve sticks, and I'm going to be upgrading this thing to Windows 10. So I bought four uh, two gig sticks that are Kingston, that are actually got the Dell decals on them, so they should work. And we'll test it out and see if it picks it up because, uh, again, um, this computer is going to be upgraded to Windows 10 for the Office computer since, uh, um, let's see, Windows 10 free upgrade, I think, comes to an end, the end of July, from what I read somewhere. So, you know, if that's the case, if that actually happens, then, uh, you know, I've got a total of six Office computers here that I would have to pay, um, you know, probably around 120 or whatever the operating system is to upgrade it, so I'm really not wanting to do that. So if I have to upgrade them and I can do it for free, then that's what I'll do, but I was told that to allow Windows 10 to work, you know, decently, it needs a minimum of 4 gigs, um, 4 gigs of RAM, and it's recommended to have 8 gigs. So I've got 8 here, and we'll just put them all in, see if it picks them up, and you know, see if it works. So, we'll take it apart and check it out. Alright, so I got the floppy disk drive out of the way. The disk drive moved. So go ahead and pop these four sticks out. One, two, three, and four. Alright, I'll go ahead and open my package here and we'll install these uh, We'll install the 8 gigs total. Yeah, that's what it is, 8. <laughs> Alright, so I got them all in. Just pop them in one by one. It's eh, difficult to do with one hand. Alright. I'm sure all my latches are locked in place. Alright, we're good. So now, we'll go ahead and fire it up. And we'll let it do its boot up and see if it registers them. Yeah, it had that little alert that uh, RAM had changed, so hit F1 and it's continuing to load Windows. Alright, we're booted up. I don't care about that optimizer crap. Go into system. Alright, it shows it 8 gigabytes and only 3.49 usable. So, well, that may be because of the 32 bit operating system that Windows 7, the version of Windows 7, is home premium, so that may be the issue. If it's bumped up to 64 bit, then maybe it'll register more, but uh, I'm not sure. So, if it doesn't register above 3.49 then we'll just run it with 4 gigs when Windows 10 is loaded and it should suffice for an office environment so I'm just going to be running you know, tax software, maybe a scanner and a printer you know, I'm not going to be doing anything heavy duty or high resource on this thing so well that's good so at least it uh, it shows it all but yeah only three and a half gigs of usable RAM, that's not good. So I may have to do some research on that to see if converting it to a 64-bit OS will change that and allow it to use more more of the RAM available or if I'm stuck at uh, three and a half gigs because of the limitations of this computer. So I don't know. I guess we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see on that. But uh, if I find out, I'll add that to the description or if you guys know you know leave me a comment and let me know so you know we'll know for sure but all right well at least I know it registers it so I guess we'll just wrap up this upgrade for now so until next time adios and thanks for watching